The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God, word, and prayer on this November the 16th. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Please show me now your ways, that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word, and I shall declare your greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Zechariah, the sixth chapter, verses 1 through 8, entitled The Vision of Four Chariots. Again I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, four chariots came out from between two mountains. And the mountains were mountains of bronze. The first chariot had red horses, the second black horses, the third white horses, and the fourth chariot dappled horses, all of them strong. Then I answered and said to the angel who talked with me, What are these, my lord? And the angel answered and said to me, These are going out to the four winds of heaven, after presenting themselves before the Lord of all the earth. The chariot with the black horses goes toward the north country. The white ones go after them, and the dappled ones go toward the south country. When the strong horses came out, they were impatient to go and patrol the earth. And he said, Go, patrol the earth. So they patrolled the earth. Then he cried to me, Behold, those who go toward the north country have set my spirit at rest in the north country. So far the word of the Lord. In this vision, the Lord reveals to the people of Jerusalem who have suffered devastation that he is indeed powerful and he is indeed active. His authority is likened to strong horses pulling four chariots, patrolling the earth in all four directions. This is also our God, powerful and active in controlling the events of this world for the sake of his people and for the sake of the gospel. God's word to us is that he is our refuge and he is our strength. Almighty God, Father, creator and ruler of all that exists, silence our doubts and fears by your comforting word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The remainder of verse 6, starting at the remainder of chapter 6, starting at verse 9, entitled The Crown in the Temple. And the word of the Lord came to me Take from the exiles Hadath, Tobijah, and Jediha, who have arrived from Babylon, and go the same day to the house of Josiah, the son of Zephaniah. Take from them silver and gold, and make a crown, and set it on the head of Joshua, the son of Jehoshaphat, the high priest, and say to him, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, the man whose name is the branch, for he shall branch out from his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. It is he who shall build the temple of the Lord, and shall bear royal honor, and shall sit and rule on his throne. And there shall be a priest on his throne, and the council of peace shall be between them both. And the crown shall be in the temple of the Lord as a reminder to Helam, Tobijah, Jedha, and Hin, the son of Zephaniah. And those who are far off shall come and help to build the temple of the Lord. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. And this shall come to pass, if you will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. So far the word of the Lord. A crown made from gifts of gold and silver becomes an object lesson to teach about the coming branch who will fill the offices of king and priest not everyone in Zechariah's day wholeheartedly believes God's promises that accompany this lesson, but this does not prevent their fulfillment in the person and the work of Jesus Christ. Likewise, the obedience of faith is lacking in many today, even in our own hearts. Jesus, Jesus' trust-building message keeps coming to us. Repent and believe in the gospel. We pray. Lord, your voice calls me to grow in faith and life. Grant me the obedience of faith. In your name I pray. Amen. On the 16th day of the month, we give thanks to God for Sabbath rest. We hold his word sacred, and we gladly hear it and learn it at all times. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. The prayer of the church. Lord, as I come to the end of the Old Testament, help me to see your patience with your chosen people. I know you have been patient with me also, just as the prophets prepared the way for Christ. Use me to show others their need for Jesus Christ.
Keep me in the faith. Help me to share my faith and others in my life, with others in my life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, you have wounded your own son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will, and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O oh Lord, and whatever else that you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.